Hello folks. In order to insert an image or another media element into your documentation, you must first place it into the library. The library is a central repository where you maintain your multimedia files. After you add the item to the library, it can be inserted into one or more topics. Note that when you insert a library item into your topics, you are actually inserting a pointer to that item in your library. As a result, when you update an item in the library, all occurrences of that item automatically reflect that update. You do not need to manually update each occurrence. As always, you have multiple ways of performing functions in Help and Doc, and this is no different. Here, I'll show you three easy methods of inserting an item from your library into your documentation. First, place your cursor in the topic editor where you'd like the library item to be inserted. Now, select the item in your library panel that you want to insert into your topic editor. Then, click Insert in Topic in the Library group on the Home Ribbon tab. This places the selected library item into your text editor. An alternative method of inserting a library item into your documentation is to place your cursor in the topic editor where you'd like the library item to be inserted. And then right click the item that you'd like to insert into the topic displayed in your text editor. This displays a pop-up menu. Now select insert in topic. This now places the selected library item into your text editor as shown here. And lastly, you can click the item in your library panel to select it. While holding down your mouse, drag the item to the location in your text editor where you'd like the item to be placed. Then release your mouse. This inserts the library item that you dragged over with your mouse into that location. That library item, or its placeholder, is now displayed in your text editor. You can also move the library item around as you wish, as well as removing the library item if it is not quite right. Help and Doc is free for personal use and evaluation purposes. You can download it at helpanddoc.com and see other video guides at helpanddoc.com/online-help. Thanks for watching.